Alright, Brock be a hoe, Brock be a hoe, Shah, Brock be a hoe, Brock be a hoe, Shah, Brock be a hoe, Brock be a hoe, Bashim, Yahoo, Shah, Bashim, Goggle Dash, the blinds of the apostles, and the elders of Great Mills, don't you well? Hey man, salutations to the whole for the elect out there, man. The Akim tells the Akim that do this thing in the ammo, truth and sincerity. Um, this week's topic is going to be entitled, you know, the chariots, the chariots at camp, you know. Um, just last Saturday, um, I don't know if brothers already did a show on it, but you know, you had like 13, brothers had 13 to 15 different chariots hovering above the camp. And now uh, today, you know, we have our little WhatsApp group and, you know, brothers exchange different things. Same thing happened to the brothers in UK. Coincidence? I think not. Psalms uh, 34 and 7. The angels of the Heavenly Father encampeth around those that fear them. Pretty much, you know, the Yahweh and Yahshua are giving us a reassurance, of, a reassurance of our faith, man. Because, technically, you know, the chariots are out there every week. It's just, are they going to make themselves visible to brothers? The proof on that is when you read the book of uh, 2 Kings. Um, but let's just understudy thought, you know, Israel was outnumbered. But then Elisha prayed that the Most High opened his eyes and he saw a great multitude of chariots. So, you know, the chariots are present, the angels are present, all right? Yahusha said, uh, when two or three are, are gathered in my name, down in the midst. So though we may look like a small, you know, a small multitude of, of brothers, you know, scattered throughout the world, you know, we have a noble amount of angels watching us, man, all right? Most of them laughing. You know, as Book of Corinthians tells us, you know, because we like a spectacle, you know, because the thing we do is like kind of, you know, it's like kind of foolish, you know, like the most I could just raise, you know, his elect up. You can make the elect out of stones, but the things we do, you know, it's, you know, it's, to us it's out of love and fear, mainly fear, you know, but to the angels it's like, you know, <laughs> the help of Shemesh, I could easily just do what he got to do. But pursuant to the book of Isaiah 55 and 11, he's bound by his word, all right? So, the most side, you know, Brock Thayel, Bashim, Al Shafi, you know, reassuring brothers' face, building brothers' face up because I don't know if brothers want to release the video, but there is a video of, you know, of the chariots over the camp. And brothers was ecstatic, man, all right? Brothers was giving praises to the most high. Brothers was very grateful, you know? And um, it happened several times. It happened on 34th, it happened on Delancey. So, that's not coincidence. All right, that's not coincidence. That's the, the, our brothers upstairs, if you will. All right, you're re reassuring us that look, man. You know the apostles, the elders, the brothers of Great Millstone is doing the right thing, man. Now, yes, you do have other camps out there. All right, and if they it may, look, man, if you teach the right thing, you don't necessarily need Great Millstone in front of your name, man. All right, as long as you're teaching the right thing. All right. But as a whole, Israel is blowing up, all right? And there's different levels to this thing, but as a whole, Israel is blowing up, man. You got a lot more people waking up to the fact that the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are, all right, the sons and daughters of Israel. Prophesied, and what uh, tells us that is the prophecy is written about in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, and Romans 8 and 16, man, all right? It's, it's, it's spiritual, okay? It's the spirit itself, the spirit of these prophecies, all right, that is, uh, that's latched on to our people that let us know who we are according to the Bible. Okay, but the signs that you know, the, you know, more appearances of the chariots, the fact that you know, the same thing that happened on Saturday all the way over here in America happened all the way over there in the United Kingdom. Man. All right, and brothers all across the states have different chariot testimonies. Testimonies. All right. By the way, for the newcomers, I forgot to slip my mind because you never know who's watching. When I say chariots, I'm talking about the so-called white man called UFOs or the general population called UFOs or flying saucers. But, you know, to us in the know, they're really IFOs. They're identified in the Bible as what? The chariots of Israel, pursuant to 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 11. All right? And that whirlwind that took up Elisha. These are how the... Oh, Psalms 140, 104 and 3. All right? He maketh the clouds his chariots. So we know that these, you know, what they call UFOs... For the most part, are the chariots of, of Israel, man, all right, the, the vehicles that the angelic forces use. Now, the reason I say for the most part is because you have Esau trying to be like the Most High, have vehicles that are similar to the chariots, but are not the chari chariots, all right, because the chariots are like spiritual vehicles. They, they, they're able to shrink in size, do all types of things, man, all right, kind of similar to that old cartoon, the Magic School Bus, 
The ship sinks, uh, shrink down to the size of a blood cell and expand to the size of a spaceship. The shadows can do all types of things, man. That, that's why the scripture says flesh and blood shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven because to, to, to operate those vehicles, you can't be in these bodies, man. You can't go a million miles an hour and stop on the dime in this flesh. You know, you're going to need different bodies, all right, which you're going to have. And those vehicles, all right, operate telepathically, all right? You just move them with your mind, okay? And Esau re replicated that. Esau has the technology. You know, he had this paralyzed NASCAR driver that was moving, you know, his vehicle with, you know, with an implant. So Esau tried to emulate, you know, the ways of the Heavenly Father, okay? So he got that, that proves right there he knows, man, all right? But ultimately, it's the most I give him this wisdom on a certain level. But these glorious chariots, all right, the spiritual ones, those are the ones that have Heavenly Father. And guess what? Esau has his own chariots, man, because there's um, pictures out there of the, the Nazis working on flying saucers. You might know about that one in Roswell, New Mexico, that crash, right? That had to be one of Esau's chariots. If that account is true, that has to be one of Esau's chariots because, you know, the Heavenly Father vehicles don't crash, man. All right, that's just absurd. All right, they don't get dirty. They don't, you know, you don't have to maintain them and shit and take them to a workshop. None of that shit occurs with the Heavenly Father's chariots, man. These things are angelic in nature. All right? Hey, so the fact that the Most High is making his appearance known, all right, with the camp and throughout the whole world, all right, you've seen all these different types of clouds all, this, all, throughout, all throughout the whole world, lets us know that the sun is coming on his way because as soon as the book of Acts, the first chapter, the seventh to the ninth verse, that's how the Heavenly Father's son left, all right, via chariot, and that's how he shall return. When you read the book of 2nd Ezra, the 13th chapter, which is found in the Apocrypha, which is a part of the Bible, the proof on that is the book of John, the 10th chapter, the 22nd verse, all right, the Feast of Dedication being kept by Yahweh Shai, which is accounted in the Maccabees. And to get the account of the Maccabees, you have to have the Apocrypha, which was a part of the original 1611 King James Bible, which the so-called white man took out because it condemns him. See, this Bible condemns the so-called right race and these other nations, man. When you read the Bible, it's only dealing with this, the sons and daughters of Israel. It's not dealing with everybody, man. All right? But thankfully, the Mosai playing 4D chess, he kept this thing coded, man. He kept it in codes. All right? He kept it in codes. That way it could be released to the masses. But the secrets and understanding of the Bible, he revealed to the prophets. That's in the book of Amos, the third chapter, and the seventh verse. All right? And we are the prophets, starting with our apostles, our elders. We are the prophets, all right? The word prophets simply means to say before. We're saying things before they happen. This is the RFID microchip, all right? World War Three, And these particular events, all right? We speak in the Heavenly Father's Word because we're just his mouthpiece, all right? We're the mediator between men and the Most High because the Spirit of the Heavenly Father is upon us, okay? Now, he could easily take it off of us, which is a scary thing, and he can put it on somebody else. So we don't boast in the fact that, you know, we're anybody special. We boast that in Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, he's the greatest power, all right? He could do whatever the fuck he want to do, all right? He's the man. He's the, he's the ultimate power. He, could, he gets all the boasts and the glory, all right? The fact that he just chose us for whatever purpose, I mean, I mean, not for whatever purpose, but, you know, how I say, like, it's almost like a lottery, you know? The elect is almost like a lot of like the most I just chose these spirits before the old the world began. All right. I'm not saying I know I'm a part of the elect, but I'm I'm gonna fake it till I make it. This brother's sake. All right, I'm gonna keep doing the things that the elect do. Lord willing the most I put the spirit upon us, all right, to do such things, man. Because you know the book of Hebrews, the sixth chapter, says he's not ungrateful for, to forget our works. And and the apostle Peter tells us do you know to do to be diligent to make our election sure. So there's certain signs you could tell that are of the elect. Case in point, the apostles, man, doing this thing 30 plus years, 20 plus years. It's a great sign of diligence, and we just pray that we finish their course. That they finish their course and we finish our course. Alright? Hey, so right now the chariots are just making their appearances over the camps. You know, showing us their little glory, but soon, not little glory, showing us their glory. But soon they're gonna show their glory in a major way. How so? Isaiah 66 and 15. All right, the fire, all right, because the chariots do emit laser beams as they show you in these Hollywood movies. They could do miraculous things. There's even accounts, all right, that the chariots helped Alexander in the wars that he won, man. All right, divine intervention, if you will, which we're going to have divine intervention because the scriptures speak about lifting up a standard, all right, which the Lord is going to do for us. 
divine intervention, whether it be chariot, whether it be spiritual power. Okay? Expect more chariot sightings, and eventually expect the chariots to do what they're going to do, which is cause a lot of wreck, man. Bring destruction and deliverance. That main deliverance is going to come on Yahweh's glorious chariot, one big giant fathership. All right? And them other chariots warn against uh, Esau's chariots, because the scriptures speak about a war in heaven. There's going to come a time when there's going to be no doubt that the Bible is the law of the land, that this book is the only book between the one power, the one true power, only power, and man. All right? Because these people out here, they don't have faith, because faith is the evidence of things I've seen. They got to see things. So the Mosai is going to let them see a lot of shit, man. Mosai is going to let them see a lot of shit. All right? With that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rekakwadash, the blinds of the apostles, and the elders of great mills of true well, and salutations to the hopeful elect out there, man, the occupants of the document that do this thing in the Abel, truth and sincerity. Shalom.